Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is custom login and how it is different from built-in login in SSIS package? So let's go to the SSDT or bids whatever you have and open one of the package and then right click in the control flow and go to the login. So what we see here we have five different type of login. We have text file, SQL server, SQL server profile or Windows uh, event log and XML. And if we go on the detail, these are the events uh, that will be put uh, in these uh, log files or the table or a Windows event uh, log. So we have information that will be put on error. We have on post execution, pre execution, on validation, on progress and all that. But uh, if, you, if somebody asks you, tell me when you last time ran your SSIS package, how many records were loaded into in some certain table? How many records were updated in uh, all of the tables? I want to know which tables uh, were used in delete operation. I want to know how many records were deleted from those records. So you do not have a way to capture that information uh, by using the built-in uh, events. So that's where custom login come handy. Custom login is not just like a, it is not a, a third party tool or it is not a, uh, some standardized uh, thing that you can use and say, okay, I'm using custom uh, login. It is your vis vision and then you use your own vision and experience and create the login the way you, your company wanted. So in this case, let's say we run the packages. So each time what we want to do. So every time we run the package, we want to capture the information. Okay. So we have package ID we want to capture the package name and then we want to capture the package start time and we want to capture the, the package end time and then uh, we want to capture it is um, successful or it is failure if failure we want to get the error information that we can get by using the system um, variable the error message and the error code so that we can create one table by using those columns and uh, each time our package will run we will put that information uh, on starting point we will use execute sql task uh, and put the information in that table with say starting time and everything and leave the end date blank and then at the end of the package we will use another se uh, second execute sql task uh, and update the uh, update the table with the end date if error happen we use the same execute sql task uh, in the control flow and update with the failure and put error information we can create uh, another table called output information table that can be having package id as a foreign key and then uh, from there we can have multiple records for each of the package we can have a uh, re record for each of the data flow let's say we uh, have one table in each of the data flow that we uh, load so we can uh, capture that information by using the uh, row number uh, row number transformation and then uh, insert the information after each of the data flow to this output table information we can also create a uh, error output information and then uh, we can create diff different other tables uh, that can keep the information what is required uh, by our company. So that's how you will be creating a custom logging. <coughs> Excuse me. So okay, uh, custom logging is not uh, standard. Uh, it is again I'm telling you it is your vision uh, how you are going to design that I have done uh, custom login in um, different projects what I do I create a separate database and that's where I create five or six tables uh, which I feel like uh, they are really required for me such as a, a package uh, um, uh, package uh, table that's one of the package uh, table I will create it then I will create an output uh, uh, table that will have a a number of columns, a number of records inserted, deleted, updated, and all those counts in that table. I will have a, a, a error information table. That's where I can put the information for errors. I so there could be multiple tables uh, you will create uh, depending upon your requirement. You might want to create some uh, custom reports. Uh, for uh, from those tables for your uh, loads and send to the people like okay how many day packages are running at the moment how many packages are uh, completed um, how much time each package took so you can create those reports from those uh, tables and design a database uh, 
in which you will have those uh, tables and put the information uh, in those tables uh, from SSIS packages uh, by using different uh, tasks such as execute SQL task uh, more, more, more probably you will be using that one better uh, capturing the information in the variables row counts uh, so you use that information and insert the information into those packages uh, sorry tables by using execute SQL task one thing when you are building a custom uh, login you will create some template package that will have all those components uh, important components like pre-execution okay this is a statement I want to run it every time even when my package run so post execution you will have uh, uh, some tasks uh, sitting on the event handlers uh, so you will create a template package uh, that will have uh, most fixed uh, uh, tasks uh, or um, components already placed there and then the rest of that can be used uh, uh, while the developers uh, build the package from there so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video